What does the resignation of Dominic Raab mean for all of this? Well, it obviously shows the difficulty of getting this deal through the House. But to be fair to the Prime Minister, right, this isn't her fault that the deal isn't a perfect deal. It's, it's the intractable process of trying to leave and pretending that somehow you can leave with all the economic advantages of being in. And you self-evidently can't. So I don't think you can blame her for that. But I'm more confident about where Labour is because they were very clear at their conference that if they will go towards um, voting against this deal, which is what Keir Starmer said this morning, then, of course, they'll try for a general election. I very, I highly suspect that won't happen. So then we go towards the next option, which is the people's vote, which they said they will vote for. And, Ronan, what would you, what would you have on the people's vote? What options would you have? I think you have to have the option of, you know, do you want to leave the EU with the government deal, or do you want to stay? And it, I think that's the fair option, because we now know what leaving means, whereas before it was an aspiration, and we were told all sorts of things would have turned out to be untrue. But doesn't the economy need certainty? And this was, you know, John's point, this is what chief executives, Frankly, and the, this is what businesses of want. Course. So you're just delaying. No, there's no certainty. The, 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 this is not a deal in the sense of what deal normally means, with finality. This is an arrangement right. to leave the EU, and we're going to have years of negotiations of thousands of agreements, clauses, provisions that still have to be worked out. I mean, you just take financial services. That in this agreement, there are there's only a hundred words on financial services, just over a hundred words. You know, it contributes 120 billion pounds to the UK economy, and there are so many more things that have to be worked out. So there's no certainty, whichever way you go. The only the only issue really is, do you want to have the option of being able to remain in the EU now that you know what leave means? Okay, what are the chances of the UK crashing out of the EU? So in advance. I think I, 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 I think almost, I mean, negligible, ne absolutely negligible, because you, the, the, I don't think Parliament would allow that to happen. There are a huge number of Conservative MPs who will just not let that happen not while they're in the House of Commons, because they know that would be hugely irresponsible. In a long lifetime of mild disagreements with Roland, I think I, dis I do disagree yeah. again on this. I think that there is really like a 20% chance of crashing out, because I think fundamentally there is a group of people who will do push very, very hard, and the other side is the Europeans. I do not see, you talk to Macron, you talk to the Germans, I don't see that they're going to be very accommodating. If imagine that first vote goes down and May then has to try and involve new things, they would certainly be very keen on a people's vote, be very keen on that, but I don't think they're going to come back and give her something a little bit more to help her get her deal through, and that will push quite a lot of people, I think, towards the let's get out of it. Mm. No, I agree with that. They, they, they'll only give us an extension. Right, if, the, it, 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 if there's a people's vote, well, there's an 80 percent chance there'll be no that we won't do that, which is usually good enough for most people. So I don't think people should be frightened into saying we can't support a people's vote because we're going to crash out, because the likelihood of that is just very, very low. Well, Roland, if I suggested you, let's walk across that road behind us, and there's an 80 percent of chance of getting across it. You might not decide to take that trip with me. Yes, okay. Well, I, I, I would of course say it's less than 20 uh, percent, but, but but I think what we do both agree on is it's highly unlikely. Okay, in terms of timing, when does that vote need to take place to, to avoid you know, increasing the probability of a crashing out? Well, I think we're, we're thinking that the vote's going to be on the 12th, isn't it, of December. And then, of course, if that doesn't get through, they'll look at, you know, there'll be a range of options. But one of the options is going to have to be a people's vote. And that's when the parliamentarians take back control of that process mm -hmm. and, and actually drive it forward. 